Everybody. It's a nice brisk day here in Charlotte, North Carolina, which I'm glad to see it. It's a beautiful day. The sun is out, hardly a cloud in the sky. And after all the storms we've been having, that's a welcome sight. And a welcome sight with me going to ride my bike. Anyway, I hope everyone else is able to get out and enjoy this weather their day getting some fresh air some of this sunshine and hopefully getting in some exercise also and as always I do have a thought I want to share and I really hadn't come up with a, a title to this thought but it is I guess we'll say everybody can't go with you. Everybody can't go with you. But the idea is coming from a script the Most High gave me and a word he gave me. But the script is that was 1 Corinthians 2 5 through 16. And the famous Psalms 23. And what it's talking about basically in 1 Corinthians is about spiritual growth, understanding, knowledge, wisdom. And it's basically saying wisdom from man isn't the same as wisdom from the Most High. And they're quite contrary because this, the wisdom from man is so below the wisdom from the Most High. And man's comprehension of the Most High's wisdom doesn't even come into play because the script says that man's understanding can't even comprehend spiritual matters. They think it foolish. But in Psalms 23, the script says, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. My cup runneth over. And see, I believe this is a time that the Most High has given us spiritual gifts, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, which is far more important than physical gifts. Maybe not your health. But far more important than money coming to me and having faith in a word more than you have faith in the most high and applying the word wrong because you have to apply some works to that word also to get what he's saying you, you should have. Basically like I, I was saying last week you have to go through a proving ground and see what I've learned well, that was last month. But what I've learned is the Most High is also going to put your associates through the proving ground and show you if they're qualified to go forward with you in the next season. And as my thought was, everybody can't go with you. And that is so true because, like it says in Corinthians, the Spirit and the, the flesh don't mix, basically. This is in my own words. But what you have to do is, like the word said, you'll have a spirit of discernment of what's right and what's not. What's, what one version said, what's best for you. And see, that's what the Most High wants for all of us, what's best for us. And sometimes it's best not to go with the crowd. And like I wrote in my notes, sometimes we go up, have to go up to our spiritual mountain alone, like Moses went up his physical mountain, and get what thus says the Most High. But also I was thinking about um, Gideon, <clears throat> how the Most High had him 
go out, I believe, with like 30,000 men or 10,000 men. I think it was 10,000. But he broke that number down all the way to 300. And he basically had Gideon had the men go by the water and drink water. And the most I said, the ones that lap it up like a dog, we're gonna get rid of them. But the ones that take it, put it in their hand and, and drink it, we're gonna keep them because they're at a ready position. See, there was some, some of the, most of the men got down on all fours and put their whole face into the, to the river. And how can you pay attention to what's coming or going with your head down in the water? <clears throat> You're not paying attention. And see, that's how it is with some of our friends and family that we have in our corner and that we're trying to gain advice from. And, and they need to be gaining advice from you. But we want everybody to go along with us in this journey because we love them. But see, it's not saying that we have to cut folks off all the time. But sometimes we have to cut them off for a season and they can't they can't ride just like when we was younger every time the the keys went to shake and we wanted to go can i go daddy can i go mama and they like no you can't go this time we gotta go handle some um grown up grown folks business but that didn't mean we stopped asking because we knew that we kept on asking and also we knew that we are gonna get a store run at least once or twice a week where we knew we was gonna get something. And see, that's how we have to be consistent with, consistently in the face of the Most High. And with that consistency, a lot of times most folks ain't gonna get people wanna be there with you. And, and, and like the Most High just told me this morning, I wrote in my notes, stop telling everybody everything the Ruach HaKadosh tell you. The Holy Spirit is, is holy unto you. And everybody haven't um, received the Holy Spirit. And everybody ain't going to receive him. And they're not going to receive his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So we have to quit telling what the words say. Stop giving our jewels to swine. And casting that which is good to dogs. And see, that's exactly where we're at when we're giving it all the wisdom and the knowledge that the Most High give us. And we're passing it right on along to those folks in our lives that don't understand it for one and don't care to hear it for two. But I'm going get, to get my ride going. Stay up and keep pushing forward in the right direction. Shalom.